software will go ahead and do uh, a couple of things. First of all, it will actually go ahead and display this form here, which is the vertical grading editor, which we're going to close. And in the drawing environment, we've now got line work appearing. Now, this line work is not a series of polylines or lines um, as sort of traditionally created by CAD. These objects have been created by Corridor Easy and they are unique to Corridor Easy. So if I left click on this particular object, you'll notice that there are what we call grips appearing. If I right click here and just simply go properties, you'll notice that the object which has been drawn, in this case for the sidewalk inner, is actually a block. And the reason for this is that Corridor Easy is designed to create content very quickly. If we draw polylines or blocks or anything like that or even attempt to create the corridor right now, the speed at which you can operate is very slow. So the intention with this is that you build your model and your road designs up incredibly quickly um, and then you can begin to look at output of say polylines if you want to or even uh, the corridor. So this line work has been drawn, where do we control its display? So to change the display of this line work and maybe turn it on or off, we're simply going to go to CSD Surfaces. Now, if we expand CSD Surfaces, we can right click and click on Toggle Display. We'll talk about the surface that's being created here in a second, but we're going to go to the Models and Line Work tab. The Models and Line Work tab has um, a couple of options. Firstly, Fast Draw is checked on. Now, if you check that box off and then click OK, we're basically turning off the line work for the string that was just created. If we head back, right click, toggle display, models and line work, we can turn that back on. The dynamic button basically says if we start to make edits to our design, such as maybe change the vertical design of the profile here, um, and that in turn changes the position of the daylights, well, we want all of that to update in the plan view. Unchecking that box would mean that it doesn't update until we actually manually go in and rebuild. We also have the option of creating CAD entities at the same time. So we can actually draw polylines of all of your line work which will update as we um, go ahead and make changes to the design. However, we recommend you turn that on when you're looking for maybe plotting or delivery of content just purely because of the fact that polylines are very process hungry and the more content that you've got in the drawing, the more, more polylines that have to be drawn and the slower your project may be. For the time being, we're going to leave Fast Draw on and click OK. Now we're going to head over to Toolspace again. We're going to right click on Total Model this time and we're going to toggle on and off contours. And that would automatically display contours for us of our road string surface. We can also right click and go toggle on triangles and that will show us the triangulation of our surface. There are wider controls available for this and if we right click on CSD surfaces again we can go back to toggle display and in there we can actually see for total model which is the row string surface which has been created we can toggle on and off the contours and also change the major and minor interval. To take this one step further by clicking OK we can access the surface manager. We right click on CSD surfaces, click surface manager in here, you can see that our surface is available um, for viewing. We can also export and import surfaces using this particular feature. We'd recommend that if you're using Civil 3D, that if you are looking to import XML files, just do that through Civil 3D, not through the Surface Manager. But you can export this particular surface here as an XML file. Later on in the course, we'll actually be showing you how you can use one of the featured tools within Corridor Easy to export multiple Civil 3D surfaces or create multiple Civil 3D surfaces in one go. The important thing to note is here in here is that you don't go to the inputs tab and start to add additional CAD entities such as 3D faces, points etc to this surface. This surface is dynamic. It automatically updates and builds itself. We go to the outputs tab however we can control with more control than we've seen previously different aspects such as the drawing of the mesh which as you can see there has now um, been removed from the display and also things like the contours can be changed in here even the contour colors which we haven't had available for before. Contour labeling, slope arrows, heights and direction shading are all available within this particular form meaning that we can very quickly turn on different analysis of our particular um, road model surface. We're going to click on close to close the form. Now we've created our road string Let's have a look at how we can now begin to edit it. 